What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're actually going to be talking about Prey in this video here again today. The upcoming Predator 5 movie that's coming to Hulu later this summer in August. So the actual trailer, a, a longer full length look at the movie was, um, was leaked earlier today and disney of course has been taking it down left and right i'm not going to show anything from it here because again it was leaked it hasn't officially been released just yet but i just wanted to come out here and talk about my thoughts on that as well as talking about the direction this movie is taking and other things that i know people have been sharing some thoughts on in regards to their fears for the movie now from the teaser that we got that already was enticing it's again being directed by dan trachtenberg it is a very visually pleasing so far from what i've seen and i like how we're going back to the bare minimums of having the predator in the ed technologically advantage position making the making the stance of that more terrifying by having everyone else uh, having their backs against the wall with the equipment that they have that doesn't compare to what predator has and then with the new look we got some very cool shots a lot of great action sequences that so far from what i've seen look better than what i was seeing from the 2018 film but i want to talk about the character really quick here from this casting call that was leaked a few a few years ago it says here that the story will follow key who we know now as naru a comanche woman who gives who or who goes against gender norms and traditions to become a warrior so it also goes on to say Key is very close to her younger brother Taib, who is being groomed as a leader as capable as any young man in the tribe Key has always been a teacher and a source of inspiration for Taib in the Comanche way she's a past the elder sister that is inspired to shape him Key is a true truth teller and has insight that others do not a tomboy who wants to basically yeah, go against gender norms so people have like had a problem with this this whole plot description that came out this of course is referring to the character of naru who we know now is key that's not the name that they're actually going on with for the actual movie that was from a casting call and i managed to come across this from alien versus predator galaxy net or something like that one of the sites that i guess comprises rumors and official news related to the movie or any alien or predator movies i'll leave a link to the to this in the description if you want to read it more in depth so people have had an issue with the wording choice i guess from that because it seems like okay this movie is going woke now the mindset there of course for someone who grew up watching the original predator movie i get where people are coming from the original predator movie very much so was very uh macho in its nature in terms of who you had as the focus what was stalking them and you know who you had fulfilling that titular role in terms of who the final boy ended up being in that movie with arnold schwarzenegger so with this one being set in 1719 and i guess it's also supposed to be showing us the predator's first tr venture to earth um some people have said oh this is just some type of woke female empowerment movie i just have to say this as someone who has a as you all know when you watch my channel as someone who is a diehard horror fan i mean it's it, this genre i would say belongs to final girls in the sense that anyone can come onto your screen and tell a compelling narrative it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl but i would say that yes for the most part from my experience final girls have always dominated the horror genre you always have had some type of female empowerment role in horror movies that's always the type of messaging i've always gotten however i can see where people are coming from in the sense that okay with today's ideologies and of course wording your synopsis like that that's what can strike some fear because it seems like okay you're going to present to us a movie in which you have a girl who is in a male dominated situation all the males have a chance of potentially dying off rather quickly early on and then it's just her versus this predator now from what i have seen from prey because again the sequences could of course be out of order i don't think they're doing that i do not think that all of these men are going to be killed off rather quickly and then you're going to just tell a story from a from the perspective of this girl who you probably aren't going to be able to sell a lot of people on in terms of her being able to survive if all the men were, were killed it's the same thing i guess as if you were to do this you give me a narrative in which you have a strong group of women and then this fragile little boy 
But then all these strong women die. Now you expect me to believe that this little boy can survive. Like it's not it's not something that's going to be be believable to a lot of people. Me, on the other hand, I'm willing to go just suspend my disbelief for that only because of the fact it again doesn't look like they're doing that. The trailer that we have gotten so far and the footage that we've gotten seems like they aren't going to be very forceful as how these synopses are appearing to be forceful with how they're describing her, you know, mentioning that she's trying to go against gender norms. You know, they're they're not concerned with stuff like that in this time period. The most important thing for these people at this time, I would imagine would be your survival and just making it out of the next day alive and doing what is best to survive not not necessarily coming from a place of wanting to oppress women or anything like that but even still the other thing i hope is that while you can still tell a very compelling and empowering female narrative i would love for the predator to come out on top in the end still i know that the final girl usually is supposed to have the last hurrah i just want to see a predator movie where predator wins though I just want to see a movie where the Predator comes out on top. I also like the design that I was seeing in this in this footage that got leaked as well. It So far, everything looks like it's going to be very exciting from this footage. Um, I do like what I was seeing from the silhouette of the of the Predator. And I like how we had it cloaked at one point, chasing after Nauru. And what I can only assume is her brother after it was looking like it was going to kill her brother. In this footage, you do get to see that, of course, the brother makes it out of that that situation where it had its dots honed in on the brother it's gonna be it's gonna not be a situation where he dies there they're gonna escape but then you get like this cool cool shot overhead of the predator cloaked chasing them through the field i like that and i really love the the silhouette shot of the predator there's a lot of cool quick shots of it they're not showing too much there it shows just enough to get you excited and i do like the narrative that they're going for when it relates to her going against what is accustomed to her tribe she wants to defend the tribe they don't think she is ready or that she can they're telling her that she can't and i guess she's going to prove that she can it depends on how you depict it on screen if it's very forceful that's one thing but it doesn't it doesn't seem like they're going to do that let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post again there's a video in the description i links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video